I found the bear! Found the problem bear! Are you there? A9. Whew. I'm just I'm just sitting out having a sandwich. Hello, Henry. My sandwich is gone. never leave well uh, I call up with some bad news two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing they've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen them. oh great I didn't do anything to them what about their camp that wasn't me, you know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Am I just gonna leave my yeah. plate? I'll, uh... That's littering. I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. You left, All right, Henry, you left your plate. Enjoy the sunset. I just... Okay. Oh. I hope I grabbed my plate at least. I'm littering. I feel like this job would be fun. Henry. I don't know. Henry, wake up. What? God damn, interrupt me while I'm asleep. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm coming! God damn it, man. What do you want? Oh, it's Julia. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. No, I didn't. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm, I'm sure, it'll be fine. We can keep talking. Okay, Jules. How does she call us? Nice. Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. I didn't even say bye. Day supplies all the way up to our towers well I get my stuff hand delivered oh how's that work it's the perks of a decade of service you're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords isn't life miserably unfair <laughs> anyway when you find the supply drop remember it's not just for you okay other lookouts biologists a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more there should be loads of good stuff though beans prunes Jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana. <laughs> I mean, she could bring a bunch up. You know, so, she just bring a lot. like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. So sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation. Uh oh. And oh God! I broke. I oh God! I hope you're doing okay. You know, when it comes to her. I have broken the game. I have broken the game. The game is broken. Wait! Did I fix it? Resume. He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. No. Oh no. A driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Alright guys, we're back. So, Sorry about that. I broke the game. Here we go. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you 
up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so... Wait. Babe, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I don't know why I'm doing... I, I feel like Ron... Ron's a, he's a... He's got, like, I don't know, a southern accent. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than the usual L.O.'s. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. <laughs> I just love that. Guess who's going out with Devin next week? No, not that shithead Steve. It's your man, Ron. That's all I imagined. I oh, this job, I, uh. I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. I'm sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, wow. I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both oh. fucked up. That's fair. I can't respond to that. I feel like I should be able to respond to that and be like, it's okay, or I don't know, like... You're horrible. I don't know, just, I want, I want to voice my opinion. I like to voice my opinion on things. So I need to voice my opinion. Ah, uh, slide drop. This way. Oh, bam! What happens if I take someone else's? No, I, I'm not going to. What? I don't want to, though, but I'm just curious what happens. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? What happens if I would have taken more, I wonder? If I just took everyone's food? That would be mean, I wouldn't do that, but I'm just, I'm just curious. Oh, God, hello. Shot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And nice. she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? The Flapjack it's Fire. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. He'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? I still can't drink this. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. It's not a bad idea. My sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Why? Oh, God. If I was there with you, I'm 
sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. Should I have not said that? I mean, he seems to be enjoying speaking to her. I'm enjoying speaking to her. Yeah. She just ignored what I said. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Ooh. This is going somewhere, but I'm just going with it. What? What could we do? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Ah, and they're not gonna tell us. Nope. Mm -mm. Everyone's like, everyone's getting ready. They're like, oh, they're gonna tell us. No, no, they're not, not gonna tell us. One fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. I should probably get no, that. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Great. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. <laughs> you are such a drama queen. No. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I fish? I wanted to fish. Oh. I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, oh, have been saying. no. And it that begins. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on, something's out here. the bear found the problem bear are you there what happened henry i, I just i got hit in the head punched or something by someone are you serious what the hell is going on out there i don't know jesus christ <sighs> let me get this straight you found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations yes what else is on it i don't know it's gone Along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does cold Wapiti cocked. Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. 
there are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Am I crazy? You're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should just get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hiked through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I'm not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. I was just attacked! Okay, we, we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right. You're right. What do you mean you're right? Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? I'm literally attacked yeah. and someone's okay. listening to us and no, 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 it's, it's fine. There's a logical explanation. Don't worry, everything makes sense. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to end it here. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I am definitely enjoying. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. All the amazing stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!